Police learned of an organized online. KTV's Henry Lee joins us live. And Henry, officers in one city were able to prevent destruction there, but then these criminals just went elsewhere. Yeah, Heather, it all started in San Leandro where police were able to stop looters from targeting a popular mall. Now, officers also learned of a possible motive. Looters converged on Oakland and Emeryville early Thursday morning, apparently upset by police misconduct, a day after Derek Chauvin was convicted of murdering George Floyd. There's a large number of chatter that said uh, to loot until justice is served, um, and we believe it has to uh, do with law enforcement and the encounters that have happened nationwide. San Leandro Police Lieutenant Ali Khan says a crime analyst monitoring social media learned about the initial target for the looters. It was specifically to uh, Bayfair Center. So the mall and both Walmart stores in the city decided to close early. San Leandro Police swarmed Bayfair Mall and the city warned that it was considering a curfew. The strategy worked. The mall wasn't hit, but the would-be looters decided on plan B. The chatter on social media moved from San Leandro. Um, and began focusing on Emeryville and uh, Oakland. The Best Buy store in Oakland was targeted by a caravan of 25 cars just after midnight. Several people tried to break in but could not, so they turned their sights on a GameStop store down the street in Emeryville. They smashed out the glass, forced the barrier doors open, and looted the store of electronics just as Emeryville police began arriving. The looters took off, but police arrested an 18-year-old man for burglary and conspiracy. There was looting reported throughout Oakland, including at the Hilti Hardware Store on 98th Avenue in East Oakland, where thieves cut through the roll-up door. They left behind empty boxes of power tools. Now, Oakland and Emeryville police are collecting surveillance video in hopes of identifying who was part of these roving caravans. Reporting live, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.